This is the biggest misunderstanding of server components in Next.js version 13. And it starts with this. Using a server component inside a client component turns it to a client component. Do you think it is true? And if that's the case, how we can prevent that? So in order to find the answer of these questions, stay with me in this video. Okay, I open up a Next.js version 13 project. And here, as you can see inside the app directory, we have a main layout. And if I open it, you can see we have a providers here that wraps all the children of the main layout of our application. So if I go to the providers component, you can see it's a client component and has a session provider, which is actually a React context provider that wraps all the children of the component. And let's go back to our layout file. And here, as you can see, the providers component wraps all the children of the main layout. So here's a question. Does this providers component, which is a client component, turn the children of this root layout to client components? In other words, does this providers component turn our whole application to client components? So let's check it out to find the answer. Here, as you can see in the app directory, we have a profile page and this is a server component. As you can see, it's a async component that uses await. So we can only use async await inside the server component. So here, obviously it's a server component. And as you can see, it uses the get server session, which is actually running on the server side. In order to make sure it's a server component let's use the prisma client here so here i'm going to say const user and set it to await and then call the prisma client the user that find first and then let's log the user here and it should log the user in the server console so now let's run our application and let's open it up in our browser okay so if i go to the user profile it will send us to the slash profile page so here Let's click on the user. As you can see, it works without any error. It's retrieved the server session from the server. And if I go back to the VS code, you can see it logs the user object into the server console. So it means that the profile page is obviously a server component. So we can conclude that we can wrap a server component inside a client component and it does not turn it to a client component. So now let's get even further and get back to the layout.txt file and let's turn the root layout to client components. So here I'm going to use the use client directive here and now our root layout is a client component itself. So let's get back to our browser to see if it is working or not. So here let's refresh the profile page and as you can see it works without any error and let's get back to VS code here and as you can see it logs the user again in the server console. So now let's create another server components inside our components directory. I'm going to call it user profile tsx and here let's create a components here and let's turn it to an async component okay and here let's get the user const user and set it to await prisma the user that find first and then we just render the user object in our component so let's use the json that stringify and pass the user object inside it so that's simple we don't want something fancy here we just want to get the user in a server side and then render the user object in our component. So now let's get back to our layout.tsx file. First, let me change the layout component to a server component. So let's remove the use client here. And here inside the providers, we're going to render the user profile. Okay, so here, as you know, the providers is a client component that wraps the user profile, which is a server component. So let's get back to our browser to see if the user profile works without any error. So here, as you can see, the user object is rendered inside the user profile, which is on the root layout. So it works without any error. But here, if I go back to the VS code and change the layout component to a client component. So here I'm going to use use client here. And if I save this and let's get back to our browser, let's refresh the page. So here, as you can see, it gives us an error and the error says that you can't use async await inside the client component. So that's because our user profile is now a client component. So let's close this off to have more room here. So what's the difference in the Nexus version 13 and with the server components, we can have a 
server component wrapped by a client component and it is still a server component. So here, as you have seen earlier, we wrapped the user profile, which is a server component inside the provider's component as kind of its children. We wrap the user profile as the children of the provider's component, which is a client component, and it didn't turn the user profile to a client component. But if we directly use a server component inside a client component, it will turn that server component to a client component as we just did here. So here, as you can see, our layout is a client component itself, but we didn't use the user profile as the children or as a slot of the root layout component. We use it directly inside the JSX of the root layout, which is now a client component, and that will turn the user profile to a client component. So this is the bottom line. If you use a server component directly inside the JSX of a client component, it will be turned to a client component but if you wrap a server component inside a client component as its children it will not turn that server component to a client component so i hope you guys understand the difference between these two and this mistake is now demystified for you and i think that's it for this video today and if you have any idea about the topic of my next video please let me know in the comment section below and if you support me with your subscription to my channel i would be really happy and yeah that's it and stay tuned for my next video bye bye